Hello world, I'm Maya Sundermeyer, and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my vlog series. So far, I have been able to share my own experiences on what it's like for me to live with Asperger's syndrome. A second thing that I will do is give my two cents on what's going on with autism in the media. A third area entails providing tips and advice for those of you that are on the spectrum. I will also reach out to your friends, family members, peers, mentors, educators, employers, and anybody that is inside the autism community. And finally, I will cover topics and things that I'm passionate about. But before I dive into tonight's topic, I have a few things to mention. First and foremost, please be sure to click up here in the upper right-hand corner. This is a video called Amazing Things Will Happen, which is an animated, illustrated version of raising autism awareness. And it is spread in a positive light rather than a negative one. And just so you know, the uh, comments are disabled, but I thought this would be a positive and upbeat and light video that you could share with other people in terms of educating people about autism awareness and autism acceptance. And I also wanted you guys to check out my written blogs on wordpress.com. And you can find those under hello world 240 at wordpress.com. That's hello world 240 at wordpress.com. And what I would like to do now is uh, not only share my opinion, but also uh, give my tips and advice to those of you on the spectrum that are watching this video right now. So, I understand that a majority of you in the autism community are getting ticked off with uh, the um, autistic puzzle piece symbol because uh, uh, there are portions of your brain that, or, uh, you, or you view that, uh, or you believe that other people think that there are portions of your brain that are missing, or the puzzle piece represents that you're a lesser or a half of somebody. and. I understand where you're coming from because uh, there are people out there that uh, look at us like we're different and less because they don't understand and don't want to understand. However, that attitude is a very, very uh, glass is half empty motto and it's very black and white. However, there is a, another uh, three-dimensional way to look at this rather than a two-dimensional and in my mind, I see the autism puzzle piece as uh, connecting to another piece of a puzzle where uh, together as a spectrumites, we create the most beautiful picture. And if you look at a puzzle piece and, and you look at the people that uh, do jigsaw puzzles on a regular basis, they put them together to create the most beautiful picture. And another way to look at it is uh, when you use a puzzle piece for a symbol, you think about that uh, in terms of chunking when you're learning new information, when you're going to school or uh, getting a degree. But the way I was uh, wanting to describe it is that uh, each person on the spectrum has a very different way of thinking and we're not 100% the same. In fact, uh, there's a saying that no two snowflakes are exactly the like. I mean, or alike, not the like. And let's say that we have uh, a few people working together in a university research lab or a research center at Georgia State or Georgia Tech or let's say Harvard University, uh, uh, the Department of Psychology on autism and neurodiversity. And we say we have one person that um, is a pattern thinker and they are brilliant at math and have a lot of skills and knowledge in statistics. And then we have another person that has an eidetic memory like myself, even though I'm good at math as well, uh, can they can remember specific facts about the uh, different studies and what they read from other research papers. Uh, let's say you have somebody that is a word-based thinker and they're a brilliant writer. And you have those people and then you have somebody that is terrific at uh, paying attention to the details and gathering the data. And what you do is you put them together and they're all on the spectrum and together they connect and they create this amazing picture to uh, verify that there's neurodiversity out there 
and that it is uh, very important not to cure autism. And it's very important to use this puzzle piece in a different light. So anyway, I'm out of time. If you like what I'm doing, please be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would absolutely love to hear from you. Until next time, I'm Maya Sundermeyer, and I'm signing off now.